Hello everyone. So again, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a, a special feature of our Fridays. Kasi lalo na dito sa ating tour, uh, Joff Solas blog page. Kasi di ba we always been doing the tourism Fridays and then but I said, siguro maganda na rin na magkaroon tayo ng a new topic as well to discuss. Kaya ayan, sabi ko nga very summary ako. Parang pang beach kasi miss na miss na rin natin talaga yung mga beach natin and destinations. But at the same time kasi I also wanted to to discuss more kasi alam naman tayo mayroon tayong mga uh, tech friends and uh, a lot of people are talking about oy how can we really implement all of this stuff uh, let's just say uh, the social media marketing the the blogging ang dami na no during this pandemic kasi ang daming mga lumabas na mga apps uh, marami na rin nagla live streaming tapos nandiyan yung mga Kumu, Bigo, Laika. And people wanted to earn a lot. Mapapansin nyo, yung Facebook, meron na rin siyang monetization, may stars. Tapos meron na rin tayo sa YouTube, di ba? Na meron din na we could actually purchase and then uh, give doon sa ating uh, favorite creators online. Now, um, since we're asking how can we still earn, optimize uh, online uh, resources, lalo na while still we are working from home or at home, finding more opportunities. So, syempre, meron akong special guest for this particular topic. And uh, we've been dealing with her because she's like uh, the mother of our local bloggers. Lalo na yung mga ano natin, digital marketing campaigns as well. She's been teaching, providing of free workshops uh, together with the Department of Trade Industry. Uh, nakikita natin siya sa Wofex. Tapos si Pira, yung talagang ano, na, na tumatak sa atin ay yung ano, iVlog series. So, uh, without further ado, I would like to pay respect talaga to this one of, uh, sabi nga na, it's March, it's Women's Month. So, katamang-tama yung pagbibigay natin, pagbibigay pugay doon sa ating uh, special guest. And that's no other than, papakita ko muna yung ating uh, poster. Yan, tara, yan, digital Filipino. So, without further ado, let me now call Miss Janet Toral. Yay! <laughs> oh, diba? Thank you so much for uh, bringing me on stage here at Big oh, Smarter. Oh. Uh, congratulations on your podcast, uh, John. Ay, yeah. <laughs> Salamat. Ano ko naman kasi, ano, pag nakikita ko kasi ang mga webinars mo, Miss Janet, ibang level ka na eh. Kasi meron ka ng ano, eh, mga Maxwell na ganyan. Sabi ko yung Maxwell na alam namin dito, kape. Pero yung sa iyo kasi is more in leadership. But at the same time, people are asking, o nga, no? Digital transformation kasi talaga. And people need to go online. So kailangan meron ka talagang leadership skills. Tapos, yeah. nakakatuwa pa dito. Siyempre, kailangan, ano, no? Happy-happy tayo. Kasi napaka-ano eh. Si Miss Janet, pag ano yan, talagang lagi nasa stage, a big stage. And people are always like looking at uh, her. Tapos marami ang mga, ano, tao dito mga assistant. So ngayon I wanted to be more comfortable. Sabi ko, "Miss Janet, okay lang ako nga nakaano ako para beach at attire." Kasi sabi ko, oh, it's like wala with... ako, walang video. Kasi biglang ano, <laughs> naka-stream yard pa na kami, kaya ayan, di ba? Kasi sabi ko, nakapambahay mode kami pareho ngayon ni Jo. Di ko sa ko, I mean, this is a, a very casual kasi napansin ko nga ano, I've been re, uh, researching, siguro a lot of our guests as well are looking for ano ba itong mga digital nomads na to? Yan. Tapos, yung mga bounce back natin na community sa mga rise up. People are talking about digital marketing. People are talking about... Uh, uh, Meron sila sabi dito. Eh, parang uh, uh, yung digitalization, nag, nag, bili, nag, naging mabilis siya, di ba? Um, uh, parang accelerate. They call it digital accelerate. Parang ganun ang term. And then... But, you know, we're in a third world country. We have one of the slowest internet speed. Uh, we're hoping somehow uh, mayroong third player na. Tapos, pero, di ba, yung, yung binigay mo sa amin na research na which you, later on, I would like you to to briefly, briefly lang naman, para hindi, ano, ma-overwhelm sila to discuss on that. Kasi Digital Filipino, she published it, na parang uh, mayroon siyang reference na very interesting talaga. So, anyway, Miss Janet, ano, how are you now for the past, ano, mula, light question. 
Oh, uh, uh, nung sinabing magla-lockdown sa Philippines, kamusta? Ano, uh, nag-worry ka ba? Um, of well, kututusin kasi at that siguro mga 2019 around December, I really started focusing on online coaching. Mm-hmm. And kaya para bang I think for November this uh, November ano December uh, January February para bang I was really focusing on a lot of online coaching I was giving complimentary coaching sessions then mm-hmm. And kaya nang pumasok yung lockdown para naka-adjust na ako sa kanya kasi para bang I've been doing a lot of online classes although syempre mm-hmm. naiimbitahan lang ako sa labas pero by default a lot of the things that I do are online Kaya halos naka-transition ako Uh, hindi naman ako gano'n nahirapan. Of course, siyempre, marami tayo na apektuhan. There are, lot, there are people who are availing na hindi na makakapag-avail. May mga nag-drop. Pero mm-hmm. meron din mga new players that came in. O oh, mga bagong mga nagpa-coach. Kaya okay pa rin. So, uh, ano, how was it, it turn out? Parang mas dumami ba siya because of the pandemic? or uh, Mas dumami siya kasi siyempre, yung mga tao na instead na nag-face-to-face session sila na training, Uh, di ba dumami yung mga free trainings online because of the mm-hmm. webinars pero mas mm-hmm. nagkaroon din ng need for coaching yung mga mm-hmm. one-on-one tutoring one-on-one mentoring one-on-one mm-hmm. coaching so nag nag nag, kick, nag ano rin yun uh, parang tingin ko nagkaroon siya ng opportunity kasi nga people can't attend the face-to-face mm-hmm. uh, speaking of online classes no um, anyway you've been like you said you're one of the pioneers who's been doing the online classes in the Philippines Um, what can you say about how the you know uh, this direction? Because I'm, I'm sure, no, parang I think the online classes, particularly in the in the, sure, ito mga primary level, secondary, and even to the tertiary level, eh, mago online class na. Um, mayro may observe ka ba or probably um, things to improve? I think, I think yung people who are used to homeschooling, it's it's nothing new for them. Kasi mm-hmm. even if even the kids are used to the idea that they're studying from home, di ba? Mm-hmm. And there, there's also a slowly growing homeschooling population in the mm-hmm. country. That's why if you search mm-hmm. for homeschooling Philippines, you will see a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Um, however, because of the pandemic, uh, children who were not used to being homeschooled and parents who are not used to homeschooling their children, they were the ones mm-hmm. who faced the biggest challenge, no? But it also opened opportunity for new services. So that's why there's a lot of online tutorials right now. No? Online tutors for mm-hmm. math, English. So gradual adjustment is happening. But of course, mm-hmm. dun sa mga common masses um, na wala namang computers at home, reliant on mobile devices, uh, sila talaga yung mga nag, nag-a-adjust. Kasi most of the work that they do, ginagawa nila sa cellphone rather than a mm-hmm. computer. That's why everybody's trying to come up with programs of bringing computers, laptops, uh, mobile devices to to the people who need it the most at this time. At sana, wag din siya ma-abuse. Kasi di ba, nakakita rin tayo ng mga areas in the country na naging mm-hmm. cyber sex. Cyber ah, porn, oh, 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 mga bata pa yun na expose na kamag-anak pa nila, di ba? And makikita Grabe. mo, mga, may mga DSL lang sila na internet at uh, na, sa iba na nila nagamit yung technology. So yun lang sana ang kailangan lang maiwasan. Mm-hmm. At saka meron pa ka na balita, di ba? Some of the government or municipalities or cities, they're providing the gadgets to the students. Tapos yun, malalaman pala nila, binenta yung gadget at, uh, para sa student. So, mga, I mean, there, there's an opportunity, sabi ko nga, ano na to, hindi na mawawala itong online class and I, I'm sure yung mga, mga school administrators natin, nakita nila itong way na rin na to na i-address yung kakulangan sa classroom or kakulangan sa teachers, di ba? And then they could see the opportunity of online classes. Uh, kasi imagine mo, maski nasa probinsya ka, Miss Janet, di ba? Parang na, pwede ka na mag-enroll doon sa mga schools natin sa Manila na hindi mo na kailangan matraffic. Parang, diba? kailangan, parang pwede ka na talagang totoong digital nomad o digital hermit. <laughs> Depending oh, yeah. on how you, how you oh, look oh. at yourself. True, true. Um, I mean, of course, there are a lot of uh, pros and cons naman yan. Uh, sabi nga nila, this type of uh, change of lifestyle talaga, napabilis lang. Diba? Mm-hmm. Para I think tapabilis, uh, sabi nila, five years or ten years, naging advanced tayo na embrace agad yung internet. Kasi 
ano, even the online payments, mukhang napabilis. Dati, eh, ayaw mag-credit kayo ng mga Pilipino. Oh, ngayon, marami nang gumagamit ng GCash. Oo. Tsaka, ano, you know, Miss uh, Janet, maraming people are talking about cryptocurrency. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what's your idea with that. Kasi mayroon pang isang lumalabas sa cryptocurrency ngayon na because na nababanggit ni Elon Musk. If I may ask, what's your uh, ano lang, parang uh, idea take, about it? Ma, oh, yeah, take on that. Um, well, like, I invested in cryptocurrency before. Nung unang, yung hype na pumalo siya ng all the way to $20,000, di ba? Mm-hmm. And then, bumaksak din siya. Uh-huh. Um, at that time, talaga maraming mga websites na naglabasa na how can how can you make your crypto grow faster? But of course, uh-huh. a lot of them also flunk, no? Mm-hmm. And some of them were accused of scam. Uh, but recently, uh, but but because crypto started getting listed in the U.S. stock exchange, mm-hmm. in some stock markets, you can now buy. Para naging ano na rin siya, di ba? Naging kumo, kumo, tama ba commodity. Yung commodity na siya na pwedeng i-purchase. Mm-hmm. So the mere fact na umabot na siya sa devil na yon, ibig sabihin legit na siya. Like mm. for me, I have an eToro account. So, mm. yung mga malaking mga people that you copy invest to, mga uh, investments din nila nasa crypto. So, definitely may market siya. Uh, of course, there Pero are people that... who still see it differently. Uh-oh. There are different perspectives about it. But for as long as people are using it, then it's there. There's even a blogging platform that gives you crypto. Oh, okay, if I may ask, no? may tip ka lang ba, Ms. Jan? Kasi ang dami-dami lumalabas sa mga, you mentioned about itoro, you, you, ano, ba, ano ba yung mga, how can we, uh, ako, kasi parang, of course, we're digital people, pero isa relaktan pa rin ako, kasi parang ang dami-dami, feeling ko naman hype-hype lang yan. How ah, maganda sa you know? itoro, kasi parang, di ba, lahat tayo, I mean, do you aspire na one day maging shareholder ka ng Facebook, Mm-mm. Netflix, Mm-mm. You, it's like any platform na where you can go there and buy stocks or mm-hmm. buy cryptocurrency or buy uh, ETFs or buy or buy depende kung ano yung gusto mong bilhin no Aha, and then okay. uh, so hindi na siya pang cryptocurrency yung itoro hindi na siya pang crypto everything uh, ay teka ito yung artista di ba si Alec Baldwin ba to ay hindi ko napansin kung siya <laughs> wala ko pa nakita yung ads nila pero ang ah, nagustuhan okay. ko sa kanya kung wala kang time to monitor your investment, you just copy people. Ah, so, I see. Pag nag-copy trading ka, doon ka mag-benefit. Like for example, uh, meron akong kinapi. So, kinakapi ko lang kung paano siya nag invest So, kung kumita siya, kikita rin ako kung mag-lose siya, mag din ako. Ah, so, they have okay. a program there na parang if you are able to reach, I think, $5,000 worth of investment at may two-month portfolio ka at maganda yung performance ng portfolio mo other people can start you can apply to become para a certain level na people can start copying you and when they copy you they also earn from the transaction fees ah okay. so that's why marami mga itoro celebrities ah yeah so kaya alamin natin yan maganda yan ha yung trade nila true true kanina tayan that's one thing your people you now be encouraged to invest to go online tapos yun nga meron na mga apps ngayon the commission like janet no Um, kasi tulad yung Bigo Live, Laika, Kumu. Kumu is backed up by, you know, Philippines, by ABS-CBN, people from the uh, JG Summit. What's your take with that? Kasi ngayon naman, yung mga taong yan, uh, ang mga younger demographics to, no? Kasi you mentioned earlier uh, yung clubhouse. Kaya lang sabi ko nga, teka, baka konti lang yung mga clubhouse sa'yo, parang very social tao. Um, how does it, now that you're, you're getting all of this, ano na, parang communities, What does it tell the public these days? Na luna parang if you go online, you get you get certain incentives or you're being paid for that. There are many ways, kasi, that you can monetize yourself. Eh. So mm-hmm. others, the, the in the early days, job as you know, most of us try to monetize ourselves through ads, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, Google AdSense, join ka ng nufnang, o kaya uh, you get into sponsored posts. Mm-hmm. or paid promotions or influencer campaigns mm-hmm. and then uh, if you have a YouTube channel if you have enough traffic and Facebook you can also earn from monetization mm-hmm. and then also yung tipping yung people can give you a tip coffee mm-hmm. tip or something they give you money 
Oo. So Kumu, parang ganun siya, di ba? If people Uh-oh. like your content, they can give you money. The, true, true. Steam, it, Steam It, which is a blogging platform, people can give you Steam dollars also. Whenever, when when people like your content, you like content, you Uh-oh. share, you earn crypto that you can convert to Bitcoin, etc. Et um, while, while there are people naman who monetize their content through Patreon. Like, for oh, me, yeah. Yeah, hindi ako nag-join ng mga gano, kasi ito nasa Patreon naman ako. So, yeah. I get people naman pledge. And in return for pledging, yun, I give them coaching uh, tutorial mm-hmm. or mentoring uh, parang parang ano return no for, so para meron kang exclusive support. content oh bali bali hindi lang exclusive content bali ang binibigay ko para exclusive na service kasi mm-hmm. para bang when people pledge sino support han nila yung mga advocacy advocacy ko for free webinars among other mm-hmm. things and then uh, kapalit din noon yun nakakakuha sila ng free mentoring free coaching uh, mm-hmm. as part of the perk for supporting my advocacy oo ano ano I, i think sabi ko nga uh, sabi mo before ang hirap mag ano mag transact in order for you to earn online kasi tulad niyo you have to come up with the google adsense you have to install ganyan ganyan plugins blah 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 may requirements may validation pa yan eh uh, ngayon As simple as creating an online account sa Kumu, sa Bigo Live, uh, like, uh, kanya-kanya silang mga pegs. Actually, they're encouraging people to really, like, go there, create content, and will pay you. Parang ganun ang dating na, wala na masyadong requirements. So, and syempre, dahil ito yung times na to, ang, ang tanong ko lang kasi parang, is it going to be sustainable, do you think? Na parang aggressive, ang aggressive dili eh. Parang feeling ko, well, depende eh, kung gamay mo yung platform. Like for me, mm-hmm. I've been on Patreon for since since 2016. Mm-hmm. And then sa una mahirap eh. Pero mm-hmm. pag tagal-tagal, lalo na pag nakuha mo na yung drive mo, yung rhythm mo, ano talaga yung mau offer mo to the public, to the people who are supporting you. Mm-hmm. At talagang doon ka na nag-focus. Kasi kailangan ko ano yung mapilian mong channel. Doon ka talaga dapat mag-focus. So mm-hmm. halimbawa, gaya ko, Patreon ako, doon ako nakafocus. Kung kumo ka, mm-hmm. doon ka dapat mag-focus. Kasi the moment you start spreading yourself too thin, you are also confusing your audience doon sa message. So mm-hmm. kung, kung halimbawa, let's say ikaw ang preferred platform mo, si Kumu, huwag kang tumanggap ng iba. Talagang doon ka lang. Mm-hmm. Para, para if they really want to support you, they go there to support you. Kasi the moment na pwede sa kumo, pwede sa ganito, hindi ka makakabuild ng traction. Ah, may tanatawag dyan, no? parang the rule of scarcity, di ba? Miss Janet, have you heard of that? Parang ano nga oh. siya? Huwag ka masyadong uh, available sa lahat. Um, di, tsaka ano yun eh, kasi the more, hindi ka mag-grow do sa platform na yun, K- kasi pwede ko sabihin na okay, you want to avail of my coaching services pwede bayaran mo ako directly or dadaan ka dun sa platform, di ba? Uh-huh. pero pag ginawa akong ganun, hindi lalakas yung platform kasi I always mm-hmm. give another option yes. if I want my presence on that platform to be strengthened kailangan dun lang talaga ako Parang, so kailangan may loyalty ka or focus it's the, it's the primary option it's the primary rule rather than exemption So, halimbawa, may kakontrata. Sabihin ko, kailangan mag-pledge ka sa advocacy ko. Ah, Gusto mo makakabi okay. ng coaching sa akin. I'm not charging for my coaching. Pero mm. if you pledge sa advocacy ko, then pwede kong... Pwede kitang bigyan ng coaching. Ayan, uh, magandang part, ano yan. Part ha? of the oh. So, in, in short, parang sabi mo nga, magandang mag-focus tayo sa isang platform para mahirap yung mga... Ano yan, eh? We call it parang yung ma-under the table. Kasi syempre, kung... Kung nandiyan ka sa platform such as Patreon uh, and then you're, you're copying up with the uh, programs tapos may ibang tao na sabi nila ay, uh, Miss Janet, tulungan mo naman ako din diretsyo na ako din ako dadaan sa Patreon kasi alam mo na mayroong mga komisyon yan ganyan ganyan, may charges. Yeah, uh, I'm correct on that? Tama, Miss Janet? Uh, mayroon silang wala namang sa kanila yun dahil di naman sila affected nun eh. Ang affected mm-hmm. sa mga fees yung yung ano pa rin eh yung creator. So, pero normally, ang benefit kasi ng Patreon, you get that regularly. So, the moment na mag-pledge siya, pwede ongoing na yon monthly. Mm-hmm. Subscription. Para, oh, para subscription siya. Although, pwede rin one time, like after that, kakancel na niya. Mm-hmm. Yung iba kasi mga platform, parang, bigay, hindi naman siya consistent eh. May sipin niya oh, na oh, oh. na yun. 
So, true, 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 true. parang you are at the mercy na you're always... O, nagmamakaawa ka. Uh, Hindi ka uh, gaya ng uh, naka-subscription system ka. Although they can cancel at any time. You can really focus more on delivering the, the quality content that you are promising. Rather Very than good. ang purpose mo eh, to trying to peddle whatever uh, you are peddling kasi nag, naghihintay ka ng donation at that very moment. Ayan. So a, a very good trick uh, what uh, you have imparted for us right now. Ayun nga, parang go to something that's sustainable which is yung as a subscription level. Uh, kasi yung nga napansin ko actually misa na off ako sa mga ganyang platform Ms. Jan, kasi parang shout out ka ng shout out tapos misa nakaka-disturb, di ba? Uh, Saan ay, kawawa ka rin, di ba? Shout out siya na shout out. Tapos pagdating oh, ko, wala man lang nag-meet ni isa. Parang ang barker sa jeep, ganun, na parang walang sumasakay. But anyway, some people are into that. Again, we're just teaching people, especially this time, lalo yung mga ngayon pa lang nagkakaroon ng mga opportunities to earn online. To, no, to look into other platforms. It could be Patreon, it could be uh, YouTube, kasi may subscription din siya, di ba? May subscription doon, nakalagay join. Sa Facebook, meron din doon nakalagay subscription level. Kaya lang, pero it depends on the number of fan base para magkaroon ka ng, may calculation sila para magkaroon ng subscription level. Oo, oh, uh, kasi yung mga ganyang platforms kasi, they focus, they assume na pag marami kang following, people will subscribe. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi rin necessarily eh. Kasi misa may makikita ka na kahit na konti lang, ang, alibawa, alibawa, gaya ko as a Patreon. I have 30 plus followers. Kapos may mm-hmm. mga patrons na nasa thousands yung followers mm-hmm. nila. O hundreds. Pero hindi ibig sabihin no, na porket hundreds siya, mas malaki ang kinikita niya. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Kung baga, kasi, depende kasi, sa crowd mo. O kasi, depende sa value na pinoprovide mo. Kasi pwede hundreds ka, pero tigo one dollar lang sila. True, pwede true, true. konti ka, pero binibigay nila sa'yo. $20, dollars thirty dollars Quality so, of service, no? So, kaya, kaya, hindi rin, kaya medyo, ano ko, I veer away from popularity. Pag mm. popularity ang basis. Kasi, yun, fickle, parang fickle siya, eh, di ba? Mm. Hindi siya, hindi siya sustainable. True, pwede, true. As- May pwede ka lang magi flavor of the day or flavor of the week. Swerte ka kung magi flavor of the month. Pero I doubt mm-hmm. kaya ah, okay. siyang kasi there will always be someone out there louder, cuter. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. So, it's gonna compete kaya kaya kailangan maghanap ka ng model na you will not compete at that level. Ayan. Oh, kumbaga you you should know your value. Hmm. Diba? Parang ikaw, 'di ba? You're holding this uh live stream tung webinar pwede kang magkaroon ng Patreon tapos people who support you will pledge no sa Patreon mag-isip ka ngayon ng perks ano yung binibigay mong perks para people will will pledge and give you something on a regular basis to help you cover your cost of doing this program kasi normally kaya ka nagpe-Patreon to help you cover your cost so sa akin training licenses um platform presence marami akong cost eh. So, to help me cover my cost, binibigay ko yung perk na yun. So, nakakapag-practice din ako. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. So, anyway, yun nga, yan, bibigay na tayo ng mga tips. Kasi ang dami din mga, again, people right now, they're looking for options on how to earn. Uh, mga SMEs, tulad yan, marami na nagumagawa ng page. Parang ang dami na, everybody's like selling online. Um, what's usually your parang best tip that you could give them para lang uh, makatulong? Um, I think they always have to start knowing their target market. Parang ano yan eh, kung marami na kayo nagbebenta, kapos lahat kayo sa online nagbebenta, most likely you're not gonna get enough sale. So you have to find other market options para makapag-zoom in ka. Kasi if you, even if you have the best product, if you're barking at the wrong market, hindi ka rin makaka-close ng sale. So, uh, it still boils down to the right market. Like for me, for example, although I may post my announcements on Facebook, pero I know not all on Facebook is my target market. Ang clear na target market ko would be business owners who need help in extending their business online and who would like to imp- improve their personal and their team's leadership skills. 
no um and pag sinabi ko improve presence online it can include e-commerce digital marketing branding customer relationship among other things mm-hmm. so whenever i communicate pala ko sinasabi business owner business owner business uh, owner i mentioned my target markets identity mm-hmm. para clear na siya ang kinakausap ko mm-hmm. so ayan clear yung kinakausap mo, then doon pupunta yung message mo. Kung hindi siya yung target market mo, hindi nga papansin yung message mo. So, kailangan maging maging clear ka in whatever you are selling para you're not targeting the wrong crowd na hindi naman makaka-appreciate ng message. Yeah, and go to know your target market as well. Tapos, uh, ito naging one of the important, ano din to, parang naging sensational pa nga, Ms. Janet, eh, yung mga influencers natin. For example, a lot of uh, businesses right now, oh, they wanted to be featured, they wanted to somehow be popular. Sabi niya, mahawakan lang ako, ma-endorse lang ako, magamit lang ako na isang celebrity. Um, so, uh, do you have any tips or suggestion as well for businesses uh, when they are dealing with influencers? Um, dati, pa namang, dati pa naman yan, di ba? <laughs> yeah. um, I think still yung sending them your product without expecting anything in return parang to compliment no and if the if the influencer likes your product most likely they will acknowledge you so yun yung mga nakikita kong ginagawa ng mga ibang brands no halimbawa mm-hmm. let's say pizza ka may mga celebrity sa area mo na alam mo may birthday, di pa dalam mo siya na maraming pizza. Mm-hmm. As a way of greeting them, happy birthday. To the point, hindi ma-ignore. Like, instead of sending one box, send them 20 boxes. Na talagang, wow, mm-hmm. 20 boxes. Wala talaga siya choice kundi i-float yung 20 boxes mo. Di ba? So, 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 pwede mong gamitin yung recognition na yun, i-promote mo sa oh. social media. Pero what if there's an influencer naman who approaches uh, a particular brand and they have this sort of demands? How how do you, how would do you think the business should ano read? Kasi ang dami din mga nagpo-post niyan, no? Bigla nag <laughs> Lalo na ngayon, no? Ngayon sa screen cap, oh, screen cap pa sila ngayon. Kasi sabi nila, "Oh, you're, you're asking me to ano to send you tas sabi mo sa akin ito po, ito yung exposure ko, media mileage ganyan." Uh, do you think that there's ano a, a better way for influencers to do it? Kasi ito naman yung mga influencers na naglalaku sila ng sarili nilang services. Oh, I think what sabi nga ni ano eh Sabi nga ni Carlo Ople, pag nag i talk siya, walang basagan ng trip, di ba? Mm. <laughs> Para bang all of us have the right to earn an income, no? Lalo na kung kaya mo naman talaga mag-provide ng value. Um, like, for me, I have a friend who used to own, who owns a resort. Tapos nakakatanggap siya ng mga email sa mga influencers na, ha, I'm visiting the Philippines, and ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos nung pinepedal na niya yung numbers niya, sabi ko, o oh, sige, tingnan natin yung numbers niya. Tingnan natin yung traffic ng site niya. Nung tingnan ko yung traffic, wala naman talagang, wala pa doon sa level na supposedly mm. pinoposition niya yung sarili niya. So sabi ko na lang sa kanya na um, I will refer this to our agency and we'll let mm. you know and we'll contact you if an opportunity arises. Okay, Sabine, I'm sorry, we're fully booked at this time. Uh, I mean, that's a very safer you know, alternative. Tsaka, I find it also somehow off then yung mga nag-scream cap tapos pinopost pa sa social media. Oh, uh, but pero hindi mo sila kasi masisisi eh, dahil nga siguro nasa-shock sila kasi eh. Pero yun na nga, may invasion din ng parang, pri- parang private yung conversation na dapat hindi exactly. naman ganun. Uh, kaya kaya dapat sa mga influencers mag-build talaga muna ng relationship with the brand or mag-advertise sila. Mm-hmm. Imbis na ipedal nila pa isa-isa, mag-run na lang sila ng ad, get featured mm-hmm. in my blog. Tapos explain mo ano yung package para people interested will get in touch with them. Ayan, that's rather good, that's than, good. Rather than i-PM nila isa-isa na magkakaroon pa ng mga false judgment. Oh, oh pag wala pa pa may naghihingi ng ano cake para sa birthday nila. Para again it's the other, parang you find it also ano no kakaiba. Uh, oh. Oh, ayan. So anyway, Miss Jan kasi to let you just to wrap it up. And you, I know kasi there's a lot of people talaga ito, ito na eh, ito na, boom na, ito na ito yung e-commerce. Ito na lahat yung ano, ito na yung siguro yung pinapangarap lahat ng mga digital influencers or 
digital Pero Joffrey, guru, pahabol ko lang. Sorry, sorry. Pahabol ko oh, lang. Sige. Kasi parang yung sagot kasi natin kung ano yung pwedeng gawin ng brands eh. Di ba? Oh, oh. Kung makatanggap siya ng invitation at parang reluctant sila eh. So kung vlogger oh. ka, sabi natin, kung talaga gusto mo i-offer yung services mo, pwede kang mag-run ng ad. Oh, Or, oh. yan na nga, typical yun, yung mag email ka sa maraming tao at i-offer oh, mo yung quotation mo o services mm-hmm. mo. Pero another way of doing it, um, gumawa muna sila ng something na organic para makapag-build muna sila ng relationship. Kung baga yung mga, let's say, meron kang 50 na establishments na gustong sulatan. Uh, isipin mo, um, what can you create organically that will allow you to build a relationship with the 50? Ng without, wala mo ng monetary na relationship. Mag-build ka, siguro mag-build ka ng relationship for two months, three months. Mm-hmm. bago mo i-offer yung service package mo. Kasi hindi ka naman, uh-huh. kasi if they know you already, all they can, the, the worst that they can say is, sorry, I don't have a budget at this time. Oo, uh-huh. parang personality talaga. Oo, oh, kung baga, ano, relationship selling siya. Pagdating sa influencers, uh-huh. malaking factor ang relationship selling. True, sorry, true, true. please go ahead. To wrap uh-huh. it up. Hindi, <laughs> kasi tuloy nga, sabi ko sa'yo, this is like the best time na parang, We don't want to say na parang ano no na maging uh, parang false positivity to pero kasi itong pandemic na to really places a lot of uh, a very concrete message to a lot of businesses that digital marketing is here and if you want it to survive you really have to learn the ins and outs of digital marketing uh, we've seen already the biggest brands are already the ba na file na sila ng mga bankruptcy because hindi sila nakakakuha ng magandang strategy of distribution and sales online. And now these are there are new companies here na talagang purely e-commerce sila and then are, they're now doing very well. Um, siguro one thing na na-observe natin na very concrete, Miss Janet, no? yung mga, di ba usually merong, um, nung pre-pandemic, yung mga monthly sale sa mga malls. Biglang nawala. Wala nang hindi pumupunta. Tapos ngayon, Uh, it's all about online sale. Now, basta magkaroon lang ng parehong number na digit o automatic sale yan, di ba? So, if you're a brand who doesn't believe of placing your products online in that particular platform, ngayon kasi, oh, paano na yan? Kasi wala ka doon, hindi mo mapiplace. So again, this is like the, the, the pandemic, again, it pushes everybody to understand, okay, it's e-commerce, you have to take it seriously. Uh, what is your, your main, parang ano to, Um, message now to everybody who wants to to do better online. Kasi it's it's no longer why you should be online, but it's how to do better online. Ah, yeah. So, apart from target, knowing your target market, I think don't don't fall in love with your target market. Don't fall in love with your okay. the way you do things. Kailangan always be ready to test. Kasi sometimes yung market mo na, yung market campaign mo na nag-work this week, may not necessarily work next week. Yung mm. ads mo na ang ganda ng performance today, suspended na tomorrow. So there are so many things that can possibly happen. Kaya always be ready to uh, discern and develop and disrupt. Ika nga, no? um, so you have to be flexible. You have to be testing. Always testing na mindset. Kasi mm-hmm. the technolo- the, there's a lot about the technology that is beyond our control. No? The algorithm, yes, yes. how it mm-hmm. works and the likes. True, true. So dahil wala yan sa control natin, we cannot be comfortable. It might work now, pero tomorrow it will not work anymore. You can get all of you can get a lot of sales now, pero that that setup, even if you deprecate it, pwede next week it will not work anymore. So oh. that's why you have to balance it with organic marketing and and paid advertising but you really yes, have yes. to take care of uh, organic marketing kasi yun yung mga hindi na hide dal talagang totoo siya mm-hmm. um hindi siya na block no oh parang sa sabi naman diyan reputation management as well mm-hmm. diba? kaya sabi nga namin anyway, kasi the the reason i the bad nagtanong nga ako sa iyo because the impact of iOS na biglang magkakaroon ng FB ads uh, blocking tapos ako paano ba yan uh, i mean i don't see people talking uh, well They are commenting about it, pero yung impact siguro kasi hindi pa natin siya pamararamdaman. Pero if you're going to ask, ako kasi pag napapatanong ako, parang ilan ba talaga ang users ng iOS, ilan ba talaga ang users ng Android? Tapos may nakita akong research, pero sabi ko, pero sino ba tong 
kaya sabi mo kasi you cannot ignore di ba sabi mga Miss uh, Janet sometimes you're dealing with that niche market and you wanted to know sino ba tong mga users na to ng iOS sino ba tong users ng Android oh marami Android pero sino ba yung users nila ano yung profile nila so uh, like you said kanina nga we just really, we don't have to be complacent kasi things might uh, run differently uh, nakakaloka yung mga biglang may, po- may politics involved pa diyan di ba yung yung Huawei na babla na baban sa ano sa US sa uh, other countries parang uy uh, ang ano no it's very interesting these days kasi parang may merong mobile phone may app developer tapos meron pang mga operating system na mga players and we're just talking about online uh and and dami din kasi mga Uh, uh, yung mga online personalities, di ba, yung, uh, regarding si Snowden, di ba, meron pang mga ganyan, na it could lead even uh, yung some political uh, ano, uh, changes, eh. eh. Ano naman tayo, uh, ayan, ito, magta-2022 na, bago election, tapos pero as of this moment, hindi mo malaman kung paano kikil sa mga tao. Uh, again, it's, it's really very interesting right now, kaya nga sabi ko, uh, I always uh, encourage people to to uh, to do some research always always like uh, uh it's it's never ending learning no miss janet I, ako, i always suggest talk to people who are wiser than you uh kaya ay yeah, pwedeng yung kausapin lagi si miss janet yeah, ng mga ano natin saka pwedeng dapat uh, talaga mag-experiment oh yeah don't be afraid no oh don't be afraid to experiment kailangan if something gets your curiosity, if there's an opportunity for you to experiment on a small amount, experiment, because that's the only way you will learn. Kasi mm-hmm. people like you and me, we can give an advice, pero if we ran that campaign a month ago or a year ago, that campaign may not, the way we set it up may not necessarily work at this time. Oh, oh, kasi, that's why yeah. they have to keep on testing because the market is changing. Iba pa yung behavior ng market ngayon. May Zoom fatigue na sila. <laughs> so they're more they're more kaya naglalagay na ako ng big kasi naglalagay na ako ng big sa likod ko para maiba naman oh they're more distracted <laughs> than ever no kaya kaya you have to manage that distraction pati yung the way you communicate you have to change the way you communicate like snappier like sa speakers club ko and whenever I'm there was one guy that I'm coaching pag nagsasalita siya masyado siya napapahaba eh kasi marami siyang thoughts mm-hmm. ang sabi ko try to speak under one minute palagi. Mm, brevity. Uh, pero di ba rin ang mabitin sila and people will ask you question rather than you drag on. Mm. So parang rule siya na always speak under a minute. Ayan. Yung mga elevator pitches usually uh, sasabi nila. Uh, but parang di, pero di naman na sa early elevator pitch. Pero hindi mo kailangan madaliin yung idea. Pero if you know that you only have a short time to talk kasi, pipiliin mo yung sasabihin mo rather than you try to exaggerate, no? And then, bahala na sila, if mabiti sila, they ask you again. Okay. So, anyway, Ms. Janet, thank you po. Salamat po ulit sa inyo. Um, is there any way that you're going to come up with other series? Uh, ano pa po yung mga pwede nyo i-invite yung ating mga viewers? Uh, we have a Change Your World series every Saturday. Uh, that is part of John Maxwell's advocacy, yung Change Your World, the call for more transformation facilitators, leadership transformation facilitators. It's a movement, yung Change Your World. So I'm doing uh, weekly webinars every Saturday, hoping to develop more transformation facilitators who can do that for others. And then uh, we also have a spiritual mastermind every Sunday, 8 a.m., no? yung kay Craig Gushel. Um, and then, uh, yun, of course, meron pa rin tayo mga e-commerce and digital marketing uh, webinars available like uh, next week meron din. So, uh, marami, marami nangyayari. So, and if you're on Clubhouse, I hope you can follow the Digital Leaders Bootcamp and e-commerce bootcamp Clubhouse. And we also have the Startup PH Clubhouse there. We have regular discussions every Wednesday Uh, talking with players in the community. And I look forward for one day, Joff, to be in Clubhouse also so that he can have a Think Smarter Club in Clubhouse too. Yeah, of course, I'm always excited for that and meeting you guys. It's always a pleasure of me having you, Miss Janet. Uh, again, to all of our viewers, this is such a privilege. That's why I said I wanted to break away muna for the Tourism Friday, but invite a person right now who has been in the industry of digital marketing. So again, then, thank you po. Siguro, Joe, paalala ko na lang kung if you're interested on how to monetize your 
online presence, you want to learn more how Patreon works, among others, I'm offering a free 30-minute consultation session. Just add me on, uh, send me a private message on Facebook. And then if you do so, uh, I will suggest a date and time para mabigyan kayo ng advice on how to set up your um, uh, Patreon presence if you need input on that. Yeah, so okay. Thank you so much po ulit, Ms. Janet, for all of these things. And guys, this is a very helpful uh, tip for us coming from Ms. Janet. So please join us here in Job Solas with Think Smarter. Every now and then, we'll be bring brilliant people every Fridays. Uh, again, for Thursday, pag happy happy lang naman tayo, chill tayo, puto tayo sa day day page. So yun po. Uh, again, thank you so much. So I'll be sharing all of the tips and the links to uh, Janet Toral for her Facebook page. Definitely, I'll post it in the link. Okay? Maraming salamat, everybody. Thank you so much.